Right, so in this video, I'm heading up there, which is Black Coombe, which is the closest uh, Lake District fell, or outlying fell, to uh, the sea, which is four miles away, that way. So yeah, I think it's gonna be a cracking night. I think the view should be absolutely amazing up there. Uh, I did see on the train, there's quite a bit of clag up there, but yeah, it's meant to clear as the afternoon goes, so let's get up there and let's see what it looks like. Look at this, a mile or so in, and I'm already in a t-shirt. February and I'm hiking in a t-shirt <laughs> it's a good uh, good omen for the day but the path I was following is telling me to go that way there's this very well trodden path that seems to go up there and then join it back up to the top of the hill so yeah I'm gonna go off course I'm gonna follow it this way basically I'm out by Sylecroft I got the train up from Carlisle this morning with like I say the intention of going up to Blackcomb to come haven't been to sleep yet basically I had an hour from getting home from night shift to get in the train here and uh, I'm absolutely goose it's about two in the afternoon now so I am going to be pitching very early Ooh, you're hard showing off cause... but I am going to pitch around this area here because the way the wind's going to be coming in tonight and all that kind of stuff I'm absolutely blocked out I'll show you yeah I'm absolutely blocked from each side around here for the wind unless it starts coming over the sea so I think it's a good decision just out in the bobcat tonight um just the best tent to bring to areas like this that I own I think especially after what happened on New Year's uh, I do have a new stove to use tonight and for the first time in my life the amount of camping and hiking and all that kind of stuff I've done I've actually got a dehydrated meal with us so quite looking forward to see what one of those is going to be like but yeah for now let's get set up <laughs> how well it'll show up but where's my finger just around about here there's a couple of lads uh, pitching a tent down there as well so I'm not the first ones to get one up this week <laughs> can you see it all on the floor it's not showing up as well as it looks in real life but sand so I do have something else new this week something I've never used before what the cut what is it a low more closed cell phone mat I have done the standard youtuber camping thing of cutting a bit off and using it as a nail pad or a sit pad or whatever they'd actually use it on the way up here and what a difference to sitting on the floor but I thought if you cut a bit off even when you're setting it up on the base of your tent you can always add that bit in or you've got it to take outside of your tent it's all right in the bobcat because you have the uh the kind of footprint bit on the outside of it but yeah for I think it weighs about 400 grams I'd only bring it this time of year off a campsite this when you where you don't really know what the terrain is going to be like because it could be rocky and you don't want to be putting an air mat on that which you've experienced in the past but yeah for the money i paid for it, it was under 20 quid we'll see how we get on with it tonight so this is it filling the tent out obviously it gets pressed down when i put my mat on it but it's a good length for the tent it really is I've had a few problems with uh, the X-Bed as well recently, which is one of the reasons I bought that. I um, don't know will it show up in the camera, but there was it was starting to peel back on there. So what I've done is I've just gorilla glued it right round on both the joints, both the seals. So there's nothing getting through that now. So fingers crossed it should be okay. I have had it pumped up in the room and left it for 48 hours a couple of times and it's not really lost any more air than you'd expect it to, especially in the cold weather. Find out in the morning, I suppose. 
Or in the middle of the night when I'm pumping it up. <laughs> Solid enough. We'll see ya. I'll keep the uh, the pump end on that just in case. Right, let's see what else I've got with me for this one. A couple of beers. We've just got two blue moons. And if you can find them, two here's your Jane's. Always got a brew dog. I know I said I've got a dehydrated meal, but just in case I think the crap, I did bring a couple of pork steaks and some noodles. Uh, to be fair, I need some dinner as well. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Phil, this is absolutely perfect for the afternoon, though. The, the sun's out, it's warm. Like, there's a bit of breeze coming in, but it's warm to sit here and sit and have a couple of beers and just chill out. It's exactly what you need at the end of a week. I think first off I'll go with a... Let's have a blue moon. Why not? Cheers, folks. Boots off as well, me thinks. Make me sell out on. It's so nice to be out in a camp for what feels like the first time in forever where I can actually just chill out and enjoy the views not worried about rain, I'm not worried about extreme winds or anything because like I say it is meant to pick up later on but I should, fingers crossed, be blocked off from where I am from where I'm pitched so yeah the big question now is will we get a sunset because I'm certainly in the right place for one So when I did the third part of uh, my Cumbria Coastal walking, just where that little gap is right over my finger, that's where I started it. Well, came down from the train station to Sylecroft and then followed it right up the coast towards Ravenglass, which is up that way. And this over here is the area I wasn't really bothered about. So I think the kind of town you can see down there, I think that's Millham. Um, I would kind of like to do the course from Sourcroft up to Millen, but once you get around this estuary, which I'm not sure what it's called, you're heading towards Barrow, and who wants to go to Barrow? <laughs> and I, I will try and zoom in. I don't know if the megapixels, <laughs> the, the megapixels will allow it or not, but we can actually see Barrow. And on the clearest of days, this is the only hill, I think, in the UK that you can see all five points of the UK, if you get what I mean. So you can see... Uh, obviously England, Scotland, Wales, uh, Ireland and obviously the Isle of Man as well uh, from this side so yeah it'd be worth coming back and especially maybe do a summer camp up at the top of Blackcomb when my fitness is back and I haven't uh, and I've had a bit of sleep the night before <laughs> um, but yeah uh, it'd be amazing to see that I really would. I just realised what I was saying before so I've looked at the map so in the centre of the screen now what you can see that's Barra and I don't know if it'll show up on the camera, but in my eyesight, I can see Blackpool Tower. Is it showing up? If it's showing up on the edit, I'll zoom into it now. Well, that is crazy. So on a clearer day, you would, where's my finger here? You would see Wales around about there. You could see Liverpool as well. That is crazy. What a day it is. Really, really enjoying this. So nice to feel. Oh, look at that. The phone can't hack the screen, <laughs> the sun. I've been so ready for a bit of sunshine. It's, it's just, it's so warm. I'm just not used to this anymore. I'm just used to wind and rain <laughs> and disasters camping. But this is, oh man, it's so needed. It's amazing. It's actually amazing. And to put the graft in to get up here as well. Uh, after being up so long and traveling so long, just perfect, absolutely perfect, man. But yeah, I think I am going to chill till it starts getting towards the sunset. Um, just enjoy myself.
this is absolutely glorious but i do have a plan for the morning now um i can't get this close to the top of black and not go up there because obviously the other side of uh this hill you could just get the landscape of um of the lake district so yeah i'm gonna head up to there before i head back to the train in the morning my train's at about quarter past ten so as long as i'm packed away by eight o'clock i've got time to do that get back and uh have about half an hour 45 minutes spare in between all that to enjoy the views uh fingers crossed <laughs> we had you a bit of cloud in the morning but no rain or anything now so yeah I think that's a good plan. It's just coming up to five o'clock now. Um, just kind of making my way through the beers. Be having some food soon. Oh, talking of food, where is it? Oh, it's near me somewhere. Here we go. This is the new stove I've got. So yeah, the OEX Etna. Pretty reasonably priced thing. It was about, uh, about 20 quid, I think. Just did give it a, a test run yesterday with a cup of coffee. That's where I got it pretty sturdy thing you can see it's already been burned with the what is the word effervescence so yeah definitely a lot bigger i think it weighs in at 77 grams which is around about 50 more than the um brs stove this is probably going to spray a load of gaskets a brand new canister we'll see oh, just a little bit So yeah, that's how big the burner is on the top of it. It's massive, it, uh, it'll hold a bit of weight. Where's my pan? I haven't leveled that up or anything. And if that was on the BRS stove, it'd have tipped over by now. <laughs> so yeah, massive improvement. I'll still use the BRS stove. It's brilliant for multi days and stuff like that. Like it's good when I've just got my little, um, my little cup with us, but uh, to be using a bigger pan on it's just not safe i've got a hole in the front of this tent i've got <laughs> sand in my mashed potatoes last time i was out you know what i mean it's just it's not worth it just got the gopro on a time lapse there so hopefully this brings us something special let's see Good morning everybody. I don't know if you can hear outside the tent much, but a uh, little bit of wind, it certainly picked up. It's about five in the morning now. I've been up a couple of hours just with uh, my um, my sleeping kind of cycle. I'm not used to obviously being asleep at night. Sometimes you sleep by route, sometimes you don't. But yeah, I was asleep by about eight, so I've got a good got a good seven hours in or something. Gonna give this adventure foods a go this morning. Like I say, I'm quite excited to try it. Uh, I could do with the lighter though. It took a while to boil this, it's freezing cold. Let's let that boil up. So it's looking quite claggy. Um, out there, got out for a pee before. So if it doesn't clear out um, up the top of Black Coombe. What I think I'll do instead is about four mile, well, four and a half mile walk down to the beach, um, and then it'll be a two mile walk back to the train. So 
go and have a look down there because Sylcroft Scumbria is the biggest white sand beach I think it stretches three miles if you want to know more about that go back and watch uh, the coastal video from it <laughs> I unfortunately appear to have left my coffee at home as well so no brew this morning just <laughs> a mince beef hot pot got a fun video coming up next week for you it's uh, Kyle's birthday so there's a few of us up at the woods up at Dalston camping Look, really looking forward to that one planning on making uh, some birria tacos and stuff like that so it should be a fun night plenty of beers certainly more than I had yesterday that was the ideal amount to bring up well I've absolutely loved this camper really I've it's been my favourite one in so long it's just been so nice to get back out when it's not claggy or well it is claggy now but I had a fantastic weather yesterday afternoon just just amazing just perked me right up up to fill line 11 it's got the right amount of water actually well that looks uh, <laughs> quite something right it's been 10 minutes it smells all right to be fair it just kind of looks like mash I don't know if that looks right or what. We'll give it a go. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Could do with a bit of gravy or something like, but yeah. Can't complain. I've eaten much worse than camping anyhow. Right, I'm going to eat this. Watch a football highlight from yesterday. And then it should be about time to start getting packed up and get down towards that beach and dinner. Like. Oh well, I uh, I had that food end up falling back to sleep. <laughs> I think it's about eight o'clock now, so we've got another couple of hours in anyhow. Definitely a lot brighter. Uh, feels a bit windier as well. So best I getting packed up. Um, I'll sit the camera out when I get out the tent, but. As for the room inside this tent to record, as I'm doing that, not going to work. <laughs> oh, should we have a little, a little peek outside there? Oh wow! Kind of sort myself out a bit. Get all these unnecessary layers off. Tuck myself in. <laughs> oh, dear me! It's steep coming down here, like it's just a, it's just a, a, a scree slope the whole way down. So you've kind of got to watch your foot a bit as you go. Right into the distance there. That's uh, Saint B's head. See you right down the coast this morning. The path I came up yesterday is just following down there and then down there towards that gate and then it's just the road back to Sylcroft that way. What a morning. Tried some different camera settings out for this video so hopefully, fingers crossed, I don't know until I get to the edit, it's, uh, it's all looking better and uh, I'll continue using them going forward otherwise it'll be back to the 60 FPS I was on. But yeah, fingers crossed from what I've read this week I've been looking into it a little bit should look better we'll see that right down this hill Just coming back down towards the road now i've got about an hour till my train comes so i don't think i've got time to even make it to the to the beach and back like i said that's two miles there two miles back but uh, time for me to get into sailcroft from here so yeah don't really know what to do with my time because there's absolutely nothing to do in sailcroft but we'll go have a look we'll have a little look around the village i didn't notice this yesterday that there's a path up the side of the up the road, I just walked along the side of it. Idiot man. Well that didn't last long. 
the uh, the difference in the wind from up there to down here it's just it's night and day isn't it can't believe it like but yeah it was just it, it must have been coming in from like the southeast so it was just kind of clipping the back of the tent where my head was but yeah it was wasn't that bad really certainly had much worse already this year <laughs> So that, unfortunately, is probably going to be the last view of the sea we have for this video. As we are just coming in to sail cross. Told you, it's even. Yeah, it's, it's just a really small village sail cross, but with fantastic reach and access to hills, which you can see behind me now. Unreal, an amazing spot, all of it. View of the hills in as well. That hill there, that's where the lads were camped on top of that I could see yesterday, so I was right over the back of here. But yeah, until next time, back home. So the cell phone mat was an absolute success. Uh, that's a game changer. It was so much warmer, you know, from like underneath, it's like it was noticeable kind of thing. So yeah, very pleased about that one. And the OEX Etna, fantastic yeah, again, uh, brilliant upgrade. Uh, and I needed one for safety, I suppose. <laughs> and no more crunchy mashed potatoes, that being the key point. There's the pub, looks like it's up for sale. It's a shame. Maybe we do get a last bonus look at Blackham, but I've got about half an hour till my train comes now, so I passed the time quite well this morning. Bit gutted, I fell back to sleep and couldn't make it down to the beach because I would have loved to have got down there, but I will be back up this area and I'm sure Kyle's going to want to come up there. In fact, I can pretty much guarantee it. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching this one. I've had an absolute brilliant one. Um, just getting out in the sun does so much for your noggin, man. It's brilliant. So yeah, more of that, please. More of that. But yeah. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, please consider subscribing. And until next time, I'll see you then.